Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with Learning Game Maker Studio 2, Drag and Drop Blocks. And in this video today we are going to try to find out how set gravity force block in Game Maker Studio Drag and Drop works. So, uh, so far we have um, two players on the screen, both look the same, but they... Uh, move differently one uh, the first player moves uh, in a grid like movement choppy blocky way and the second player moves continually smoothly so you can pick whatever you like and this um, block set gravity force is one of the movement blocks uh, so it's uh, the one in second row the second in second row it set, set, says set gravity force and to use it we should maybe yeah we could actually maybe uh, make some kind of uh, enemy like object or a drop uh, drop down like um, spike or something like that and for that one we need uh, to create a new sprite but it will be fast don't worry the whole video should be much much faster than the previous one so I'm going to make some pointy object like spike like uh, some kind of enemy I will use line tool and the red to see uh, better maybe black is cool but we have a black background and I'm too lazy to change it so uh, the line tool works as uh, supposed to as in other a graphic uh, application so you click first time for the first dot and then without uh, uh, stopping pressing so you press all the time and drag and press and you have the line and when you release it it will be drawn on that position so I click I don't release I drag here it is maybe like this and this too yeah it looks great uh, it's empty inside so I have to pick a fill tool and that's it I'm satisfied with that I will just change its name to SPR spiky so let's make an OBJ because we want to make this sprite interactive and let's call it OBJ spike and select sprite and this is where we are going to code so I want this I will uh, go to room go to asset on the left side room on the right drag and drop not sprite but obj and I will drag a couple of those this is not the smartest way but as as I said for the prototypes it's good enough so uh, uh, when you make prototypes you want uh, things done fast it doesn't matter if they're not the smartest or the most beautiful looking and as I said before this tutorial is aimed uh, mostly for beginners and beginners with uh, game maker and also with coding so I'm also a beginner in drag and drop uh, blocks so I'm learning this way too so we don't want to put too much pressure on it so uh, I want those blocks to fall down on my uh, player and to hurt him uh, so in this video we're going to make them uh, fall down and we are going to make that by using the create event we said before this event is made uh, this event is uh, uh, triggered when the object starts on the screen it's triggered once so this everything I put in this create block will start right away uh, when the game starts right away this create event is starting also so when the object is on the screen alive this create trigger is starting too uh, and I want to use this set gravity force so I want from the start of the game to this uh, for this object to start falling and let's see with the force one what will happen uh, 
Oh, that, that was that was cool, but really, really fast. So let's try with 0 0.5. Um, yeah, still very fast. 0 0.1 maybe. Yeah, this is this is uh, maybe better. Let me check what will happen when I click on relative. I think it will add gravity through the time, so it will start falling slower, but then go faster and faster. Yeah, I think it does that. So I don't need that for now. This is all I wanted to uh, make for now. This kind of effect. So when the game starts, I want these spikes to start falling uh, maybe a little bit faster 0 0.15 um, and so this is a, a, a this block does exactly what it says it sets gravity that means your uh, object will be falling and if you want the object to go upwards so we will change force from plus to minus so now our objects will look like it's going up it's flying up instead of falling down so you can play with those and uh, again where are you going to use this block uh, as we saw in this video you can use it to make some uh, kind of enemies some kind of spikes uh, falling on your uh, player as an enemy to the uh, destroy him or for example you can add this set gravity force to your player alone so for example if you're making some kind of game where your player is jumping on something so uh, it can fall down so you can use that in that way so you can make your player behave like uh, in the real world so he can fall down and so on <coughs> uh, also maybe you can make uh, there are lots of gravity games where you can uh, change the gravity in your room so for example your uh, player is uh, acting uh, normally like if he jumps he will fall down but when you turn the gravity he flies uh, to the up to the sky so uh, gravity can be uh, turned on and off by using other blocks so you can make your player fall or fly or something like that so far uh, it's uh, we just show where it's uh, uh, used for the simplest uh, example but uh, we will combine it maybe later with some other stuff uh, this video was uh, very very fast i hope eight minutes not so fast uh, but anyway much faster than the previous ones so uh, we are building something here so uh, Keep on watching, keep on learning and uh, new videos coming soon. Bye for now.